Healthcare is a high stress environment that requires a lot of people from different perspectives to work closely together. And when the communication and the cooperation uh, unravels among a group of healthcare providers, patient care suffers. A lot of uh, gossip and people talking about each other behind their back and where things get back to each other and, and it really is very hurtful. Staff morale, people were feeling not appreciated at work. I was so devastated that I walked away and said, I don't know if I'm coming back. We have to do something different to help boost morale and, and to get people thinking in a different way, collaborating together and, and uh, for the good of the patients. But there was no recognition of any kind. You got your raise with the, with the contract and that was it. The communication between nurses on different floors can be really harsh sometimes. There were barriers in the environment, that relationships weren't good. We were working in silos and not in collaboration. I'm not at my most resourceful when I'm not respected. You know, if I'm not happy to come to work, it's, it, I don't do my best work. We knew we had to do something. We couldn't continue you know, working as a team the way we were functioning. It's now time to act. We've studied enough, uh, we need to act and do something that is going to positively impact on the practice and work environments of professionals. Patient care is our number one priority. That's why we come to work every day. Our patients are our number one priority. And if there's any doubt that they're not getting the best possible care that they can, then it's up to us to fix it. If you're in, internally feeling that you're being recognized for the work that you do, um, it goes such a long way. Yeah. There's respect, there's open communication and, and trust and all. So we, we are in a, uh, at a good place. You go there and you can see the staff laughing and being professional, yes, but also enjoying themselves and interacting with the patients in a good, positive way. It's got to make a big difference. So there was absolute evidence that there was a shift in the way that they thought about one another and how they worked together. To look at all of this data and know what the data is telling us and understanding it, I think it's unethical and I would be in violation of my standards of practice as a professional if I didn't act. I'd like to get to the to a place where people can expect that other people are going to be respectful of them. A lot of evidence has come together from hundreds of people who participated in this study. Crew works. It really, really works. It changes people's experience of work life for the positive and it does it consistently in a wide variety of work situations. We're very Happy to have you here. We're very impressed with the work that you're doing. Civility, respect, and engagement in the workplace. It's the basics. You know, those are the basics of what enables you to recruit and retain people. It's the basics of what enables you to provide excellent patient care or provide a good product. To develop CREW, we brought together a team of researchers from psychology, management, nursing, to develop a program that would make a real difference. And CREW supports the building of those respectful relationships. For CREW to really work, you need to be committed, you need to come together, you need to talk about these things, you have to raise the awareness. This isn't somebody outside saying, um, this is how you have to do something. It's, it's about saying, we know this about civility, respect and engagement. Does it make sense to you and how are you going to make it work yourselves? Wherever you are in the organization, it is about how is it that we are providing the best care we possibly can for patients. But we also look at things like trust of management, trust of each other, uh, job burnout versus work engagement, uh, and a variety of other important parts. We looked at the original research data that uh, was provided to us by CREW. Having these conversations with the leadership team, with the director, and it's been great to have that survey res result and say, so, so this is what we're talking about in black and white. And it's really good to be part of a larger uh, picture and know how you are and how you compare to others. It, it gives a real uh, a solid and current and very specific baseline. When we had our kickoff meeting, the, the CEO of the, of the District Health Authority was there, 
the vice presidents were there, the director of nursing. Everybody supported us. Then we developed a program of interventions and uh, learning experiences, etc., conversations with the team to look at how we improve civility, respect, and engagement in the workplace. This data-driven kind of uh, uh, concept that we have here is that we want real evidence that things have changed, not that a few people feel better, but that uh, the dynamics, the culture of that work group is more positive now. It benefits the, the staff who are involved with it, uh, families, uh, patients. So if you can work in a climate that adopts a more civil and respectful workplace, then you're, you're only going to benefit from that in every aspect of your life. For people to be able to change their behavior or be more aware of how it is they are with each other and check themselves or be able to check each other on what might not be very nice behavior, will eventually translate into less patient complaints. More effectively provide care for patients and patients can feel better in, in the environment that they're in because they don't choose to be there, right? We, they have to be there. Oh, it, it's got to be better for patients, absolutely better for patients because they're going to get the best of everybody. Because it's the people who are going to make organizations successful. The value to the employer is a more committed workforce that's showing up more often, wants to stay with that organization, wants to contribute to a very high quality of effort and greater productivity and quality from that group of people. It's always difficult to find the time, it's always difficult to find the resources. And it's important that we do find the time and we do find the resources because the dividends, it pays off, no question.